Welcome to Change mm. Lives. Mm. And this is the programme where we share with you someone else's story. These are stories that we've collected over the years whilst we've been doing training in different places in the UK and um, mm. asking people to share with us their story, their testimony, yeah. their change yeah. life. And today's is a very interesting story, um, a true story. We know the gentleman concerned and he shares about storms and difficulties. Well, how appropriate is that at the moment as we're going through this um, crisis with the corona? So I'll ask Keith to share and then no mm. doubt he'll have something to say at the end of this story. Mm. Right, thank you, Pauline. Well, we've called this the hand of God. My name is David and I would like to share three things that happened in my life while I was serving as a crew member on the St Ives lifeboat. I became a Christian in 1957 at a strict union camp in Somerset, but it did not really follow Jesus. I carried on doing what I wanted to do and did not seek to obey and Jesus and his word, the Bible. In 1990, a vessel called the Biscay Pride got into difficulties in St Tide Bay. Hurricane force winds were blowing and she was dragging her anchor towards the rocks of Gwythian. When we got to her, she was very close to the rocks and the time was running out. I remember the Pen Lee lifeboat disaster was on my mind and we were in the same situation. All I could think of doing was to pray, and I did. God help us, was all I said, and I meant it. In my life as a fisherman, fishing off the coast of Cornwall, I have seen the wind get up very quickly, but I have never seen the wind die down so quickly. Within ten minutes, the situation had completely changed. The Biscay Pride had recovered her anchor and was heading out of St Ives Bay and up the Bristol Channel. Mm. And the lifeboat was on her way back to St Ives. Jesus is still in the business of stilling storms of life. On another occasion, Christmas Eve 1992, the captain of a vessel broadcast a distress call saying he was sinking and his crew were abandoning ship. During our search, we were struck by a huge wave which put out most of our electrical equipment. I was standing on the starboard side when two waves hit. I was sent flying through the air. Everything was a blur. Water, blackness, can't breathe, swimming. The next thing I remember, as my darkness turned to light, was the crew shouting my name. David, can anyone see David? David's overboard. It was strange, because the next thing I knew, I was standing right there with them. I'm here, I'm okay. Did I go overboard? I think so and so did the crew. So how did I get back on board? It could only have been the hand of God. God says, never will I leave you, never will I forsake you. The last incident I would like to share happened at the beginning of my LIFO career. A 19-year-old Bristol boy had got caught in a riptide while swimming at Hale. We were called out to help him. As we approached him, we could see him frantically waving and shouting for help. He kept going under, and when, he, when we got to him, he had gone down for the last time. We could see the lifeless body motionless below the surface. We dragged him back to the surface by his head. As we dragged him into the lifeboat, 
His lifeless body came back to life. We took him to the beat and he was taken by ambulance to the hospital. We never did hear how he got on. I've often wondered whatever happened to him, God had saved his physical life. I wondered if God had a special plan for him. The Bible tells us that anyone who calls on the name of the Lord will be saved. Being saved physically is one thing, being saved spiritually is another. How do you stand? God loves you and sent his son, Jesus, to save you. He is only a prayer away. I've recommitted my life to Jesus and now live to please him. He is my Lord and Saviour. Well, that's a fantastic testimony of what the hand of God can do in a person's life. Probably this morning, God is throwing a lifeline out from the lifeboat to you this morning. Probably you are going through difficulties mm -hmm. during this time of this virus and don't know which way to turn or what to do. Probably you're feeling down or low or depressed. Well, I want to throw you a lifeline out this morning because it's only the hand of God that can help you today. And if he puts his hand out to you, why don't you put your hand in his hand and say, please, Lord Jesus, will you help me? Probably you'd like to do that right now. Let's have a prayer together. And if you pray after me as though we're asking Jesus to come into our lives. As Jesus is holding his hand out to you, you put your hand in his hand. Lord Jesus Christ, I ask you to forgive me for all of my sins and come into my life and take control and fill me with your Holy Spirit in Jesus' name. Amen. Now, if you pray that prayer and listen to this testimony and you really mean it, then why don't you connect yourself up to a, a group of a local church or put in your search engine churches in your area and probably they'll be live streaming on Sunday and you could see what church is really like. And probably just ask, uh, ring a pastor to pray with you over the phone. And as this virus finishes, that he'll come round to see you. It could probably help you and give you some direction to life. But not only that, if you've got an app on your phone, there's a Bible app called Bible Gateway or Bible U version. U version Bible that you could connect with and read some of these scriptures um, in John 3, 16, because God loved the world so much that he gave us his only begotten Son, that whoever believes in him shall not perish, but have everlasting life. Can I just say there that the version app for your phone or tablet mm. is very good, because not only does it give you the written word, right, it will yeah. give you pictures which help you to understand what you're reading. Wow. Universion yeah. app, mm. Bible app. Yeah, there's so think? many, isn't there? Yeah. About, uh, so, God bless you today. Okay. Yeah. And I just pray that if anybody has got this virus, I just pray for you yeah. now. And I ask in Jesus' name, that you will stretch your hand out and heal these people. Mm. Amen. Amen. God bless you. God Look bless. Look forward to seeing you another week. Thank you.